Our camera was rolling as Fraser Police Lieutenant Mike Pettis and Officer Renee Campion confronted the owner of a smoke shop who still had the synthetic drugs displayed for sale. Why were you selling it anyway, I guess, was the question. Uh, they said it's urban. It's not like it's... Uh, like... Uh, like incense. They don't sell it like... But you're a smoke shop and you're selling it don't you what do you what do you think they're doing with this stuff I don't know the packaging is clearly intended to entice and it isn't cheap and the consequences of smoking what is commonly referred to as K2 or spice has in at least one case locally proven to be deadly Channel 7 is doing the story and basically concerned at why why a shop would even sell sell this stuff they sell it everywhere not just in the smoke shop though you in the liquor store in the gas station in the smoke shop well the gas stations in Fraser are not selling it and we're having everyone take it off the shelves in the officer's presence store owner Edward Tossa agreed to remove the packages the enforcement action by police follows the emergency order issued Monday by the Macomb County Health Department Tom Abro owns the Buscemi's pizza and party store in Fraser he told told me he's never sold the stuff. A lot of kids come in and they say, why you don't sell it? I go, you don't need it. It's bad stuff. It's bad news. We don't, we're not going to sell it. We're not going to mess with it. Look what's happening. Look at, watch TV. What's going on with this? So we don't want the kids to get hold of it. Police have only identified two businesses in this community selling the product. It's all gone now, and officers will be doubling back in the days ahead to make sure it stays off store shelves. In Fraser, Dave Llewellyn, 7 Action News.